All right, so this is our quiz review on solving systems of equations by substitution and elimination. Let's take a look at substitution first. Number one, we have negative 5x minus 3y equals 27, and we have y equals 2x plus 13. So this is what we want, what we have here in this second equation, y equals 2x plus 13. We want an equation solved for a variable, meaning y equals or x equals. What this tells me is that y is the same thing as 2x plus 13 which means in the other equation, I can substitute 2x plus 13 for y. So we're going to go ahead and write this like this, negative 5x minus 3, instead of y, we're going to put a parenthesis, equals 27. And then we're going to plug in, for y, we're going to plug in 2x plus 13. And we're going to go ahead and go through the process to solve. So we have negative 5x, now we need to distribute. Negative 3 times 2x, that's negative 6x and negative 3 times 13, that's negative 39, equals 27. Now we can combine like terms. We have negative 5x and negative 6x, that's negative 11x, minus 39 equals 27. Now we can add 39 to both sides. So we have here negative 11x, equals 66. Then we just need to divide both sides by negative 11. And we get the answer x equals negative 6. Now that we know x is negative 6, we can take that and plug it into either one of these equations. Doesn't matter which one, but one is obviously easier than the other, and that's going to be the second one. So we go here and we're going to go ahead and plug in y equals 2 times x plus 13. And we know that x is negative 6. 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. And negative 12 plus 13 is 1. So our solution is the ordered pair negative 6 comma 1. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at number 2. We have negative 2x plus y equals negative 2. We have 10x minus 4y equals 18. So neither one of these equations is solved for x or y. So we need to go ahead and do that. Always look and be strategic. Make sure you pick the path that's going to give you the least complicated equation to work with. In this case, it's going to be the first equation, solve for y. In order to do that, all we're going to need to do is take this negative 2x and move it over here, which is going to make it a positive 2x. And so our new equation will be y equals... 2x minus 2. Now we have something that we can substitute for y in the second equation. So we're going to write 10x minus 4 and then a parenthesis for y equals 18 and then we're going to plug in 2x minus 2 for y. Now let's solve. So 10x, negative 4 times 2x, that's going to be negative 8x. And negative 4 times negative 2, that's going to be positive 8 equals 18. Now we can combine like terms, 10x minus 8x is 2x, so 2x plus 8 equals 18. Next we're going to subtract 8 from both sides, and we get 2x equals 10. Then we are going to divide by 2, and we get x equals 5. Now that we know x equals 5, we can go ahead and plug that in into any of these three equations up here. The original two or this new one we wrote. Let's go ahead and do the new one. It's going to be the easiest one. So y equals 2 times x minus 2, and we know that x is 5. 2 times 5 is 10, and 10 minus 2 is 8. So y equals 8. So that's our solution for this system is the ordered pair 5, 8. All right, looking at number three, we can see that neither one of these equations is solved for x or y, so we need to do that, and what we want to do is solve, look around, and see which one of these we can solve for that's going to leave us with no fractions or anything like that. So if we look at the first equation, if we solve for y, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 30 divided by 2 is 15, so we're not going to have fractions here. So let's go ahead and solve for y here. We're going to start by taking negative 4x and moving it to the other side giving us negative 2y equals positive 4x plus 30. Then we're going to divide everything by negative 2. 
So now we have the equation y equals negative 2x minus 15. Now we have something that we can substitute for y. So we're going to take the second equation, 10x minus 4 times y equals negative 12. And we're going to plug in negative 2x minus 15 for y. And go ahead and work this out. Negative 4 times negative 2x, that is going to be positive 8x. And negative 4 times negative 15, that's going to be positive 60. And we could combine like terms. 10x plus 8x is 18x. Next, we want to subtract 60 from both sides. And we get 18x equals negative 72. Then we just need to divide both sides by 18. We get x equals negative 4, because negative 72 divided by positive 18 is negative 4. And now that I know x equals negative 4, I can plug that into any one of these equations. These original two equations here, or this equation here, this is going to be my easiest one. So we're going to say y equals negative 2 times x minus 15, and we know that x is negative 4. Negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8, and 8 minus 15 is negative 7. So y equals negative 7. And so that is our ordered pair, is the, or our solution is the ordered pair, negative 4, comma, negative 7. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at some elimination examples. Remember, in elimination, you want one of the sets of variables, either the x's or the y's, to be the exact opposite of each other, meaning same number but different sign, so that when you combine the two equations together, that variable cancels itself out. So if I look here at this example here, number 4, I can see that both of my y's are positive 2y's. So if I can make one of these y's into a negative 2y, then the y's will cancel each other out. What we can do is take this first equation and multiply it by negative 1, which just changes the sign for everything. So negative 8x becomes positive 8x. Negative 2y becomes, I mean, positive 2y becomes negative 2y, and negative 6 becomes positive 6. Now when I combine these two equations together, you're going to see the y's cancel out. x plus 8x is 9x. 2y minus 2y cancels out. And 21 plus 6 is 27. Now we need to just divide by 9. And we get our x value, which is x equals 3. Now we can take that 3 and plug it into any one of these equations up here. Let's go ahead and do the second one. So x plus 2y equals 21. And we know that x is 3. Then we're just going to go ahead and solve this equation. So we're going to subtract 3 from both sides. And we get 2y equals 18. And then we divide by 2. And we get y equals 9. So that is our solution, the ordered pair, 3 comma 9. Now let's go ahead and take a look at number 5. We have negative 4x minus 3y equals negative 6, and negative 10x minus 6y equals negative 6. Now, none of these variables are opposite each other. None of them have the same number, regardless of sign. So what we need to do is change one or both of these equations. Sometimes you only need to change one. So in this example, if I look at the second equation, I have a negative 6y. My first equation has a negative 3y. So if I could change this negative 3y into a positive 6y, then the y's will cancel out. And I can do that by multiplying the entire first equation by negative 2, because negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. So negative 2 times negative 4x, that's going to be positive 8x. Negative 2 times negative 3y is going to be positive 6y. And negative 2 times negative 6 is going to be positive 12. Now I can combine these equations together. Negative 10x plus 8x is going to be negative 2x. Negative 6y plus 6y, they cancel each other out. And negative 6 plus 12 is 6. Now I have the very simple equation, negative 2x equals 6. Divide both sides by negative 2. And we get x equals negative 3. Now we could take that negative 3 and plug it in for x into any one of these equations. Let's do the top one. So we're going to have here negative 4 times x minus 3y equals negative 6. And we know that x is negative 3. 
Negative 4 times negative 3 is positive 12. So now we're going to subtract 12 from both sides. And we get negative 3y equals negative 18. And then we divide by negative 3. And we get y equals positive 6. So that is our solution to the system is the ordered pair negative 3 comma 6. All right, so in this last problem here, number six, we need to change both equations in order to be able to eliminate. So if we look at the x's, we have a negative two and a three. The least common multiple of two and three is six. And if we look at the y's, we have a negative four and a 10. The least common multiple of four and 10 is 20. It doesn't matter which one you choose, you can make it work. Let's go ahead and go with the x's. So let's go ahead with the least common multiple of six for the x's. And we want one to have a negative six x and the other one a positive six x. Well, the top equation, since it's already a negative 2x, let's just multiply by 3 to make it a negative 6x. And then the bottom equation is already a positive 3x, so let's multiply by 2 to make this a positive 6x. Let's do it. 3 times negative 2x is negative 6x. 3 times negative 4y is negative 12y. And 3 times 8 is 24. And the second equation, 2 times 3x is 6x. 2 times 10y is 20y, and 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. Now we could combine these equations. So negative 6x plus 6x, they cancel out. Negative 12y plus 20y is 8y, and 24 minus 8 is 16. Now all we need to do is divide by 8. So when we divide by 8, we see that y equals 2. Now that we know y equals 2, we could plug it into any one of these equations here. Let's go ahead and do this second equation here. So we have here 3x plus 10 times y equals negative 4, and we know y is 2. So now we work this out. 10 times 2 is 20. Now we're going to subtract 20 from both sides. We get 3x equals negative 24. And then finally, we divide by 3. We get x equals negative 8. So there's our solution, the ordered pair, negative 8, comma 2. All right, I hope that this video has helped you to prepare for the quiz, and I hope that you do well. Good luck.